Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the completed and filled uh, collections insert from my Traveler's Notebook bullet journal. Um, this setup in here was used from February, mid-February 2018 through the end of April 2018. Um, and the way I have it set up, you'll actually see in a the ch video on my channel called How to Bullet Journal in a Traveler's Notebook. Basically, I explain how I do it, but I have a separate uh, insert in here that is dedicated to collections and then I keep my daily planning separate. So um, this is a field notes. It's I believe the, does it say in here? I think this is the Shenandoah collection. I've explained before how it's got like the deciduous leaf color on the inside and the fall leaf color on the, sorry, deciduous outside. Like there's summer color and then the fall color on the inside. Um, and I like green, so there you go. <laughs> um, I have this set up, I'll show you here. Um, this little sticky note I had in here showing the pages that are still blank because most of it's full, but there are a couple blank pages and this is just for reference. So um, I have a few different indexes in here uh, trying to sort of separate things into different project pages. So the first index is for things that aren't really project pages. So I have a someday maybe list. See all this? Um, you'll see the pages as they come up. Then next is our projects. And then I use a um, friction for most of my planning. I use a friction ballpoint pen. These are erasable. And so I put a star next to a project when it is currently active. And then when it's done, I'll cross it out and put and erase the star. Or if I decide that I'm not working on it right now, there's nothing that needs working on it right now, it's like on the back burner, then I erase the star as well. So that um, when I'm looking through these indexes, I see only stars next to the one, the projects that are important that are currently active. So we have general projects here, then video ideas. Um, so I, when I have a video idea, I write it down here. And then once it gets like a project page, it gets, um, a page number, see, and then you can cross it off once it's been actually made, but there's some in here that don't even need like this one here. I didn't actually need to write to make a project page for it. So there's no page there, but it's still, this is like my projects list. So it's kind of a double duty index. Craft projects, just a big thing of craft projects, most of which I have made no progress on. And then this is for my Hogwarts.com, the website I'm involved with. And then we go on to actual collections. So someday maybe list this comes, well, and the waiting on both of these ideas come from um, the getting things done method by David Allen. I sort of, I have been not great at using the someday maybe list in the past or even the waiting on these are things that I'm learning more recently how to do better um, and so it's just sort of a place to keep ideas that I don't want to be bothered with yet or things that I am waiting for um, before I can do something else so I keep checking on this periodically this is the schedule of YouTube videos that I'm working on and I highlight them once they are uploaded and done This uh, spread was for the garden in the backyard. I've kind of set this aside um, because it's something that it's not like super important to me. It sounds like we may not really get a garden work, uh, underway. It's kind of late in the year to be starting one at this point, so we may do it next year. Um, and here, I'm not gonna show this just in case anyone's looking. My husband has a couple gift ideas on here. And then uh, this is my personal wish list. Uh, the, this is the two page spread of planning for my sister's bridal shower. I managed to fit everything on here. It was very messy because it was tight, but I think it's easier to see everything at once. And since I was able to fit it all, you know, I can't say it didn't work. Who can plan a whole party on just two pages? This person. All right. And then this is sort of, if I had thought of it before, um, probably would have put it up in the front as a separate like project list, but this is a list of projects around the house that needed doing. This is a list of lists. 
Some people may think that that sounds crazy, but this list was indispensable to me. Um, basically every week as I go through and plan my week, there's different places throughout the planner that house potential projects that may need work. And if they're not already on my radar, I need a reminder to go back and look at these different places. And it feels overwhelming unless I have a list of, okay, check, 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 check. Now I know that I've looked at everything and I don't have to stress about it. So every week I look at my list section, my list of lists, and I check, is there anything on the monthly calendar that needs to be done? Chores list, that's in my um, long-term collections. Image checklist, baby insert, stuff back here, just places that I need to check once a week. And then I know, like I, I catch things that are put in these different places and I don't have to spend all of my mental energy remembering to look for these things because I have them all written here. So I think it makes sense for me. Call me crazy, call me anal, but I it works. Uh, these two pages were things that I was doing during Lent. I had a daily um, prayer intention that I was trying to keep track of for my daily rosary. And then the other things that I wanted to do, uh, sort of either give up or, or take on with my sacrifices. I make a lot of packing lists and there's just, it's a packing list. I don't remember, I think this was for our confirmation retreat. This was a brain dump page. So it's a couple different things. I put some check marks when they were done or like when they weren't important anymore but most of them are just little notes that don't really matter very much. Um, a list of places where we needed to change our address. There's still a few that I have not done yet. We just moved at the beginning of the year. Um, and since we moved out of my in-laws house, we're still getting all of that mail. So it kind of means that there's not a lot of urgency. So I keep putting it off. Um, this was a chess tournament on my Hogwarts and I wanted to keep track of all of the different matches and who I still needed to challenge because I was doing all of these at once for the first round. So I wanted to make sure I knew like what the outcome was and if there are any that I still needed to follow up on. This is a game that I got on Steam and I wanted to start playing and it's one of those like adventure, it's, I don't know if anyone has ever heard of Rem. I, uh, I was looking up games that were like Myst. I'm a huge fan of the Myst franchise. Well. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Miss franchise and uh, Rem is sort of similar anyway. And if you're familiar with any of those kinds of exploratory adventure games, you have to take a lot of notes. And so uh, these are the, some of the notes I took. I only played about an hour of it, um, but I had an extra page here blank ready to go for more notes. There's another packing list, a list of all the paperwork needed to collect for our taxes. Um, oh, this is sort of a little bit of journaling stuff. I was just having a crummy morning, and so I decided I wanted to write it all down. Um, and sort of, I felt like letting go of it onto a page would help. And then really what did, what ended up helping was just telling my husband about it. And he gave me a big hug and made me feel really good. So I just crossed it off. <laughs> He's the rock. He's great. Um, this is one page. I planned the bridal shower on two pages. I planned the bachelorette on only one page because it was a really low key party. Anyway, it was mostly just who are we inviting and then what do we need to buy? And I highlighted the stuff that I was doing myself and left the other stuff for my sister to do unhighlighted, just remembering like what she was taking care of. And that went well. And then these next few pages are um, YouTube video project pages. Um, so they're sort of like half a page and some of these did not get filled out before I stopped using this insert, but, um, yeah, got, you know, notes. These were for, um, Isby videos. So I wanted to like write down the title and where, what the, um, thumbnail image should be as I finished recording. So I wouldn't have to like go back and pick those later. These are some videos that you can look forward to coming out soon or have possibly come out uh, recently. Because there's just a lot of a lot of ideas. This is some journaling that I did on Holy Thursday after mass. And then this was um, this project on WizU. WizU is the continuing education program on my Hogwarts that I'm in charge of. And so we're doing a project there. Um, and there's notes about that here. Um, and then this, these just two pages, it is, it's only two pages. 
That's awesome. This was the talk I gave at confirmation, the last one I had to do for the year. And um, I took some notes, or I, uh, I did some highlighting in the outline that I was given, and then I wrote it out in here, sort of in the order I needed to, and highlighted some important points and things like that to sort of remember what I was gonna be talking about, and that went pretty well. And then uh, this is a schedule of when I wanted to work on different projects, because sometimes when I have a lot on my plate, I start worrying that I'm um, either working on more than I need to right now, <laughs> usually not worried about that, but sometimes that happens, or worried that I'm putting things off until too late. And so I think, okay, this project, I'm gonna work on it. You know, it takes me three weeks and it's due here, so I'm gonna work on it these three weeks working on, you know, basically these are each weeks of the year, uh, month, whatever. And I just marked off like when I was going to work on each thing. So I knew that I was, wasn't working on more, uh, at a time than I needed to or less. And there's a blank page. This is another, oh, you know what? I lied. This is actually a list of things to bring for that bachelorette party. So this is actually the same project on a second page. Um, and then this is a packing list for the actual wedding, which is sort of incomplete. Anyway, uh, these are some notes about the, the toast that I was giving at the wedding. And then we have a couple blank pages. And then I stopped using this insert because I stopped using this planner and moved into uh, what I'm going to be showing you in July. So that is, I think it worked pretty well that, you know, as far as timing, I filled up my planning insert and my collections insert around the same time and was ready to move on to a new system. So if I come back or if when I come back to a traveler's notebook, I'll get a fresh insert for both of these. So there you go. That's what my finished collections insert looks like. Some of it's pretty, uh, mostly only because I was decorating pages ahead of time, because sometimes I would find that I wouldn't want to create a collection if it wasn't decorated, because then it would just be, you know, I would like try to save space for some washi tape. Um, anyway, so if I found that if I pre-decorated some pages, I was more likely to create a collection if I needed to. Um, so that's a tip for you. And uh, yeah, so some of them are just kind of scribbly and as they're needed. And that is, I think, where the bullet journal system shines anyway. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I post three times a week and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.